is 100 metres backstroke. We do, and of course, we'll, we're always familiar with the work of Ashley Delaney and Hayden Stunkel, and they're pretty familiar as, as well with each other, Matt. They certainly are. There's a lot of new terminology to learn tonight with our blocks. We've got the kicker on the back of the block, and tonight we're talking about swimsuits as well. Yes. We'll go into it now. Ash Delaney will be wearing a jacket swimsuit. Yes, which is the same swimsuit as Fred Bousquet wore to break Eamon Sullivan's 50 metres freestyle world record. But we should point out that neither the 50 freestyle new world record or the 100 freestyle new world record from the French Championships have been ratified yet. So Eamon currently still holds those world records until they are ratified by FINA. I think the suits have a bit to play with that. There's the new jacket suit. It's an Italian manufacturer. A lot of the European swimmers wear it. In fact, we'll see, I think, some other swimmers wearing the blue 70 suit. Uh, again, they'll all be blacked out. You won't be able to see anything other than Speedo um, labelling. As you can see, Hayda wearing the Speedo LZR races, just the, the long john type. And there's... Takashi Nakano, he's the 24-year-old from Tokyo, also a 200-metre backstroke team member for Japan. That will all be watching Stokel and Delaney. So they're talking up a big improvement with this suit, aren't they? They are, between uh, about 0.2 and 0.4, I have heard. But potentially this is one of the suits that won't be allowed past the FINA testing. So it's the men's turn of the 100-metre backstroke. The jewel in the pool, and into the water and away. And uh, in lane number three, it is uh, the Japanese record holder in uh, Irie. In four, it's Delaney. In five, it's Koga of Japan. In six, Hayden Stokel, the 24-year-old, who is the Australian record holder. And in lane seven, it's Takashi Nakano, the 24-year-old from Japan. Now, again, remembering that these boys are in hard work, but 52.97 being the national record held by Hayden Stokel is probably something we need to keep an eye on. 25.77 at the 50-metre mark, although Ash is at 26.0. He's sitting in a nice position now and really trying to challenge, although the swimmer in lane number three... Area. Yeah. Irie is really starting to pull something out now. Irie and Koga going strongly. Irie takes the lead. Delaney second. It's tight at the end, but it looks as if Irie is going to win. And can Delaney get second? That's the question. He can't. He has to settle for third. So Japan go 1-2. And Koga, who is the Japanese record holder in the 50 and the 100 backstroke, has been upstaged by his teammate. And... Uh, Irie is, is just 19 years of age and he's a really a swimmer on the rise. His technique was just simply beautiful. It was so smooth. There was no head movement at all. It just was a pleasure to watch. And he almost off the 50 metre wall had a bit of a lull in terms of Ash coming back at him. And then with 25 metres to go, he just put the foot down and was able to bring something out that, that you know I haven't seen for a very long time in terms of holding the smoothness. That's Hayden that you were just looking at. But look at Irie at the top of the screen and the distance that he put in the boys in the first 50 metres. Just fantastic effort. It certainly was. It looked like the amount of training that these uh, swimmers have been doing really took its toll on Ashley in that last 25 metres. Really started to fade coming into the wall. I'm sure that will change in a couple of months' time come World Championships, but that's always something that these swimmers are always looking to do, is make sure that they get on the wall, finish hard. And there's the final standings. Australia's Ash Delaney and Hayden Stokel setting for, settling for third and fourth. Eddie is setting a, a new record in the country, 52-56. And Howie's ready for us. Howie? Ash must be wonderful leading into the World Champions to get this type of uh, competition. Yeah, that's a fantastic time by Eri. Um, uh, I would have liked to have gone a little bit quicker, but um, I don't know. That's just fantastic competition to race against. How's your lead up to the World Champs going, mate? It's obviously a heavy block of training at the moment. Yeah, training's been pretty tough. Um, would have liked to... Um, Got a little bit quicker tonight. We had um, just a little bit light, lighter, easy, easy, easing into the week. So, um, yeah, I thought I could have gone a little bit quicker, but that's all right. Mate, they were talking about the suit, Gaz. If we could just have a look exactly how tight it is, how, how do you find this particular suit? You'd be a bit, <laughs> bit lower there, Gaz. Boy, gee, <laughs> this is a television for children, Gary, just quietly. How do you go getting in and out of this suit, mate? How long does it take? Um, oh, the first time it probably took me about 15 minutes. Just not used to the material and stuff, but 
now you can, I know you get the hang of it pretty quick and probably took me about five minutes to get into it. Does it feel actually any different when you're racing? They're talking about 0 0.2, 0 0.4 a second. Can you feel any of that when you're racing or no? Um, not really. I've practiced a little bit with this suit and it's more like when you finish, um, your time's pretty quick and it doesn't really feel that much different. But tonight, yeah, I don't know, maybe just kind of missed it a little bit tonight, but yeah, it's okay. You'll be right for the World Championships. Well done, mate. And Gary, I think you need to just have a bit of a think about your camera work, mate, just quietly. <laughs>